Latifa, Tom, Ido and Alice love their technology. Ido and Alice are into programming and gaming. Tom and Latifa use their computers for homework and Facebook. So we've brought them here to the computer lab at the University of Cambridge to find out what they make of the Raspberry Pi. We're going to uh, give you a sneak preview of the Raspberry Pi computer. If you believe the hype, this tiny device is the future of computing. The idea to put the fun back into programming and the technology into children's hands. The first thing we can do is, is run the game to see the, you know, what sort of state it's in at the moment. After a brief introduction, they set the PlayStation so generation a challenge up, uh, to program their very own uh, game of uh, Pong. Uh, uh, these, are, these are the paddles. So Maybe if we did the bigger number. This is one of the Raspberry Pi computers. It's a credit card sized computer, a very powerful computer, um, and a very low cost computer. So we're hoping, well, we are selling these for £25 from today. Surely you can just change it to say. Okay. The aim of Raspberry Pi is to change the way children think about computers so most will know how to play games on them how to use them to surf the internet but how many know anything about what actually goes on inside a report for the government last month found computer teaching in schools was dull and demoralizing and said British children risk falling behind their peers elsewhere it used to happen in the 80s in the UK the BBC micro was a cornerstone of computing in schools and in the homes as the Sinclair spectrum was a pro programmable and affordable computer all that got lost over time as computers got locked down, kids were only allowed to use the software on them rather than create their own software. So now with the Raspberry Pi, they can start coding again, which is fantastic news. So uh, you've had a few minutes now. How are you getting on? Is your, is your game working? Yeah. 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 Let's see really so what about the all-important verdict of the panel from Parkside Federation Academy? I think we both probably really like it. Yeah. Definitely, it's a really nice interface. I haven't done like programming or anything before, so I thought it was quite interesting to learn, like how to program. So if that's zero zero. The only glitch so far has been demand. The first batch sold out in around a minute this morning. The developer's dream is for every school child in Britain to have their own Raspberry Pi. From this humble berry, they hope the next generation of computer programmers will be born. Katie Stallard, Sky News, Cambridge.